Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Arco Linux. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you'd like to follow me on my socials, or even better, become a patron to the channel, those links are down below. Arco Linux. We're going to start off on their website, arcolinux.com. This is Arch Linux, obviously, and you've got different phases. They've got learning phase that'll help you get through installing Arco Linux, using Arco Linux, and then up top, we're going to start out at home. It's got info. It's got Arco Linux, Arco Linux DB, Arco Linux ISO, and then start here going through the BIOS, UEFI, tells you how to first shut down your computer. If you've got Secure Boot, it basically walks you through installing Arco Linux. General all the information you need to install Arco Linux on your desktop or laptop. And then design, applications, rescue, listing, and downloads. You come over to download. Here's where all your ISOs are. You can download whatever you want. If you want to download it from torrents, you can do that here. But this is a very valuable website if you're going to install Arco Linux. Now, info, September release is online. Come out on 9-11-21. There's 28 ISOs. They're also offering a new desktop, which is Cutefish. That's coming a long way in a short amount of time. And then some other information down here that might be useful to you. So now we're going to switch over to the desktop. When you download Arco Linux, throw it on a USB or put it in a virtual machine, this is the desktop you're met with. Right off the bat, you get the Arco Linux welcome app. We advise to clean the computer with Gparted before installing during the Calamari's installation. Many options will be open to you. You have the freedom of choice. The links below will get you started on Arco Linux. We communicate with our community via diversity of social media. Do join us to learn the latest news, ask questions, or for casual talk. And they appreciate feedback. First thing you want to do is if you do install this, you want to update your Arch Linux mirrors. Very first thing you do. After that, if you're a beginner, click on beginner installation. If you're advanced, you can go straight to advanced installation. You've got release info, choose your project, core info, fast track, forum, donate. If you like what the developers are doing, click on that. Go over and help them out a little bit. Get involved. If you're a developer and you want to help out, you can go there. Debug, YouTube, go to their YouTube channel or quit. And then down here is all their social links. And if by some chance you do need it when you're in a live mode, user, live user is your username and passwords, no password. So just put in live user, and when it asks for password, hit enter. You'll see that you've got one panel. It's on the bottom. You've got live user, date and time, sound settings, clipboard, internet, and then updates, of course. And then you've got your desktops. There's four of them total. We're on one now. If you wanted to switch to your second desktop, you're switched, but your first desktop is still live and open. So let's go ahead and close that. If you right-click... You can create launcher, create URL link, create folder, create document. Open terminal here. Let's open in terminal. Okay. Alacrity is open. So let's see if they've got HTOP. They do not. Let's see if they have top. And they do have top. At present, with two gigabytes issued to this virtual machine, we are resting right at 550 megabytes used, which is really lightweight. That's what you expect from an Arch distribution with a minimal desktop. So let's close out of that. Let's go ahead and right-click again. You can search Catfish, open folder as root, ownership, open with get ahead, open in new window, arrange desktop icons, desktop settings, and applications. Let's go ahead and check out desktop settings. Right now, this is the background that we have. You have many different wallpapers to choose from. You can just click on it and it changes. That kind of looks good. You got minimal wallpapers, but the ones that are on here look very, very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Menus. You can come over here, you can adjust your desktop menu, Windows list menu, and then icons. Icon size, you can bump that up if you want to. Top left vertical, you can adjust however you want your icons to look. Now, if you want icons on your desktop, all you got to do is come down here to default icons, click on your default icons, and there they'll be. And then if you want to make those icons bigger, all you got to do is click them, and as you can see, they're getting bigger. So it gives you some customization here to do what you need to do. I'm going to go ahead and remove those off the desktop because we do not need them at this moment in time. We will close out of that. Let's go to Arco Linux App Launcher. Over here, we've got accessories. On your accessories, you've got Application Finder, Archive Manager, Bulk Rename, Clipboard Manager, Conky Toggle. Let's click on the Conky Toggle. 
and there is the Conky on the right side of the screen. It shows you your system info. Shows you a nice futuristic looking clock. I like that. Down here, it shows you your processes. Shows you the memory that you're using and storage. I'm going to go ahead and leave that Conky up. You've got install Arco Linux, command and manager, menu editor, screenshot, software sensor, software token, image writer, XF burn, graphics. You've got Restretto image viewer, multimedia. You've got parole media player, XF burn, office, dictionary, settings, your base settings. Let's go look at appearance. Right now we're with Arc Dark. Let's go ahead and change that. Can we change it to Arc Darker? Darkest. Okay, I'm going to leave that. I don't know why it was showing darker as a white theme, but there it was. Icons, we're using Sardi Arc. But there's several different icons you can choose from here. And then fonts. If you want to change your font, you just click on that. Choose the font that you like. And then down here, adjust the size of that font. And then you can hit select, and it'll automatically load it in there. And then you've got DPI scaling, and then enable anti-aliasing. Now, on DPI scaling... You can run that up, and it makes everything a little bigger, and it makes your bottom panel a little bigger. So we shall close out of that. Display. I'm going to go ahead and open up Display for the simple fact that when I first loaded into Arco Linux, the resolution was a little off, so I had to come over here and set it to 1920 by 1080 and then apply it, and that fixed my problems. Especially if you're in a USB or a virtual machine, you're going to experience that more in a virtual machine than you will on USB, but if you have to, it's right there. Then you've got Grub Customizer install, notifications, panel profiles, panel, customize the panel. So there's our panel on bottom. We've got the panel locked. There's nothing you can do with it. Mode, it's horizontal. You can set it to be vertical. It'll come over here, or you can set it to be as a desk bar, and it'll stay there, and then it'll change the orientation of it. I'm going to go ahead and put it back to horizontal. Automatically hide the panel. Never. You can actually do that intelligently or always hide. Intelligent means it usually stays up unless you open a program. If you open the program, it goes full screen. The bar hides. Row size, number of rows on your panel. You can change the row size. If you notice, the panel's getting bigger down on the bottom. I'll go ahead and leave that there. And then we'll go back up to settings. You've got power management, privilege granting, Settings Manager, Graphical Settings Editor, Window Manager, Decomp, and then your System, Add and Remove Software. Let's click on that. First thing you're going to want to do over here before you do anything is click on the Hamburger menu, go down to Preferences, go over to Third Party, and right here where it says Enable AUR Support, go ahead and enable that. What that is is the Arch User Repository. It's basically applications that you can't get in official repositories that the community has put together and they're really good applications and they stay up on them. It's a trusted source. And then you want to go back to general, make sure that check for updates is on, and then you can close out of that and then that way it'll always check for updates. Plus, you also have the Arch user repository so when you go over and search for something that's not in the official repositories, you can find it on the AUR. I just did a search and it tells you right here OBS. You got OBS Advanced Scene Switcher. You got all these options right here from this repository that you can install. And all you'd have to do is click on the arrow down and then click apply and it would install it. So let's close out of that. And then Arco Linux System. And I think that pretty much covers it all. I have never looked at Arco Linux before, pulled it up. It is a beautiful operating system, it's very light. It's very quick. It's very expedient. I'm running this in a 2 gigabyte, 2 CPU virtual box, and this, it, its response is unreal. Everything opens. It's snappy. It's quick. And boom, it's right there. And I forgot, yes, it does have Thunar File Manager. That's what I thought. If you've given Arch a shot, whether it be Manjaro, OpenSUSE, something like that, and you want to see what something like Arco Linux would operate like and function like, I definitely recommend zipping over to ArcoLinux.com. Downloading it, throw it on a USB, throw it in a virtual box. Take it for a test drive. I think you'll be very impressed. Do me a favor before you go today. Please like and subscribe or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on my socials below, or better yet, become a patron to the channel like Mitchell Valentino did today. Just go down below, follow that link over there, become a patron. Thank you for watching the video. And I'll see you in the next video.